looks like the smoke cleared in the sky today. I guess I'll know for sure once I get the aerial view later. And with that in mind, what's going on today? It was interesting reading this one where apparently it dealt with a drone counter system. You'll probably be hearing more about these since so many countries are bragging about their military drone uses and all that. This one says Indra's Crow system counteracts a drone attack during a demonstration by the Air and Space Force at UNVEX. Two small unmanned aircraft take off without authorization in the vicinity of an airbase, putting the safety of the air operations at risk. The Air and Space Force detects, analyzes, and neutralizes the threat in a matter of seconds with the help of Crow, the cutting edge anti drone system that Indra presented this week at UNVEX. The flagship event held in Spain for the unmanned vehicle sector, which took place in Seville this year. The Air Deployment Support Squadron of the Air and Space Force was tasked with conducting the exercise and demonstrating to a large number of experts and customers the intelligence and significant capabilities of a state-of-the-art system that's already being used during real military missions of the highest complexity. And in terms of what they did, it says on this occasion, its mission consisted of protecting the runways of a small simulated airbase during which two drones unexpectedly took off just one kilometer away, leaving a short reaction time to neutralize them. The Crow system's high precision radar immediately detected the intrusion and its optoelectronic systems were able to establish visual contact with them to confirm the threat. At the same time, the system's electronic defense antennas scan the radio spectrum to determine what kind of link these devices were using. All this information fed with the advanced algorithm of Indra's solution which cross-checked with its data libraries the kind of drone it was dealing with and the most effective countermeasure to be employed. And from reading this when it determines I guess the type of drone, the communication links and all that, it essentially implements like it says here a powerful jamming system. So basically cutting the detection and so forth. So I would wonder if they would be able to control it afterwards too or is it literally just killing the signal. It makes me think too because there it says it has like a database of various drones. So what if someone's using like a custom made one for example, will that be harder to detect and analyze and assess in terms of what one would have to do. This is interesting to think too, it says the vast majority of incidents that occur are caused by the inappropriate use of commercial drones, which many systems are able to counter providing a false sense of security. To stop an intentional attack during which advanced drones are used with the aim of causing as much damage as possible and the safety of passengers on a flight is jeopardized requires the use of a fully reliable and effective system such as the one Indra offers its customers. Interesting to think about. I can actually easily see places like a stadium having stuff like this as an example in the future. I wouldn't be surprised anyways. In terms of intercepting, how's this? Apparently Uber was hacked in a big way and just from the stuff I was reading, people didn't take it seriously at first. It says here, we are currently responding to a cybersecurity incident. We are in touch with law enforcement and will post additional updates here as they become available. So specifically too, some people posted like this one online. He says here, someone hacked an Uber employee's hacker one account and is commenting on all of the tickets. They likely have access to all of Uber hacker one reports. And he posts a little more details here. It says the attacker is claiming to have completely compromised Uber showing screenshots where they're full amin on AWS and GCP. And this person claims this was from an employee saying here, like an email, urgent email from IT security saying to stop using Slack. It's a chat program and it says, now anytime I request a website, I'm taken to a redacted page with a pornographic image and the message F you wankers. And it says, instead of doing anything, a good portion of the staff was interacting and mocking the hacker, thinking someone was playing a joke. After being told to stop going on Slack, people kept going on for the jokes. That's kind of bad. So I guess we don't know to the extent of this breach, but it makes you wonder too, because I know Uber wants to get into autonomous vehicles afterwards. And in these cases, what if someone compromises the system and I guess makes instructions for these quote autonomous vehicles like, oh, I'm going to send this there, etc., etc. It makes me wonder if people prepared for stuff like that in terms of being compromised. And what the heck, this is completely random. They just got it here right now. At first I thought it was a scam of sorts where you get those messages saying, oh, you got this and that. I thought it'd be one of those click here and they want to take your information, stuff like that. Like talk about compromise, but apparently this is real. And yeah, when did you donate it? And I was wondering, wow, that's 
not a small chunk of change. Holy smokes. Thank you very much. That was making me wonder, wow, what's going on here? The last time I saw this generosity, if you guys remember, is when I lost my camera, the drone went haywire and so forth. So thank you very much again. And I don't consider this quote little and so forth. What the heck? You guys are nuts if you think this is little per se. But I will be reaching out to you because again, I'm really grateful for stuff like this and I want to see what I can do to make things, for example, better or what makes you happy per se and how I can do better in that case. It always inspires me actually. Even though I do it for fun and so forth, I know some people may benefit from it. So yeah, I will be reaching out to you. Thank you again. See you guys later.